What's up, Daddies? BD here with your recap to the rescue, breaking down everything you might have missed in The Walking Dead Season 9 premiere, A New Beginning. The episode kicks off with an 18 month time jump, and things are going well in Alexandria after the war. In fact, things are going well for the show with the war over, and that might be thanks to Angela Kang being the new showrunner. I'm glad that it seems that for the most part, like the, the response seems to be positive. She did wisely manage to sneak an Easter egg to her boss, AMC President Charlie Collier, right off the bat in the form of a street sign, and whoa! New opening credits! The survivors explore Washington, D.C., hitting up a museum for some old-fashioned wagons and tools, and seeds for the sanctuary, which is struggling to grow crops. Daryl makes a call back to Merle while talking to Cindy. Ezekiel almost dies, but doesn't, and him and Carol are a thing now! Hashtag Carzekiel. Also a little romance between Anne and Gabriel. Much better than the spiders Sadiq had to face. I think Angela and Scott put it in there because they know I'm absolutely terrified of spiders. And for five minutes, I was like, maybe we should make a fake head and get a big giant vinyl tube and fill it with spiders and then actually shoot it practically. I thought that. On the way home, the show slaps a red shirt on this kid, Ken, after giving him a couple of lines. He dies and Maggie cries, although we definitely didn't care. And she is pretty pissed off at Rick Grimes for never listening to her, despite this line from season six. And you gotta start doing these things. Maggie finally had her baby, by the way, and named it Herschel, just like she did in the comics where he first appeared in issue number 130. Gregory tries to have Maggie killed while she's for some reason walking a baby in the middle of the night in a stroller, and he suffers the same fate as he did in issue number 141 after he tried to poison her. On TV, he tried to get Red Shirt Ken's dad to murder her, and he fails. Hard. So he is hung just like he was in the comics. In fact, the last words of the episode are the same last words from that comic issue number 141. Cut him down. Rick and Michonne have their hands full, which is why the idea of a charter will come in handy. But if Rick's not careful, he might just have another kid on the way with all that Michonne loving. What Easter eggs and references did you catch in The Walking Dead Season 9 premiere? Drop them in the comment section or send them my way on Twitter, at Brandon Davis BD. And stay tuned to comicbook.com slash The Walking Dead for more. <laughs>